Hi everyone, my name is Raouf Agrissi, I'm software engineer and the founder of Coding Betons YouTube channel. I saw in the comments many persons asking to translate content from Tunisian dialect, which is our local uh, language in Tunisia, to English. And today I decided to start my first video in English. So I will start by translating Graph Theory Part 2 playlist and I will start with problem G2 from Code Forces Round Div 3. 805 and to understand the solution for this problem we should explain what is an LCA lowest common ancestor then I will explain how to use binary lifting in this lead code problem to find kth ancestor then I will work on this purge problem to find LCA with queries and finally with these two new techniques we're gonna find the solution for the problem from code forces so let's get started before starting the binary lifting we should explain the lca lowest common ancestor given this tree ancestors of node 11 are 8 4 1 and 0 ancestors for node 6 it's 6 itself 3 1 and 0 so the lowest common ancestor of 6 and 11 it's 1 it's the lowest one in common so for 11 ancestors are 8 4 or uh, I will inverse the order so it will be it will 0 1 4 8 11 and for 6 it's 0 1 3 6 so the, the common one uh, the common one the first one is 0 the second one is one and then we don't have any elements in common in these two lists so zero zero is the first uh, ancestor then one one is the lowest common ancestor let's move to this problem from lit code cave ancestor of a tree node which is a hard problem so let's get back to our drawing interface if I want to know the kth ancestor of any node, so for example I have 11, the first one is 8, the second one is 4, the third one is 1, the fourth one is 0, and if I will ask you for the k uh, greater than 4, the result will be none because we don't have uh, an ancestor with this index. So the easy solution for this problem is to check all ancestors and go to the kth one. I will generate all ancestors, so 0, 1, 4, 8, 11, and then the solution will be like that. So uh, first we have k, so I will say given k, not there, okay, so given k, the solution will be while k minus minus then each time I will go to the parent so p will be the parent of p and the complexity for this solution is big O of k okay so let's check uh, the constraints for this problem we have many queries each time he will ask you to get the kth ancestor of one node so k is uh, 10 power 4 and n is uh, 5 uh, multiplied by uh, 1 uh, 10 power 4 so uh, the complexity to get the kth ancestor for n nodes it's k multiplied by n which is uh, 16 10 power 8 which uh, with this solution we're gonna get uh, time limit exceeded so then will come the binary lifting power to optimize our solution so binary lifting binary lifting okay so the idea uh, around the binary lifting given a tree like that okay so 
when I, when I want to go to the cave ancestor, the, the solution that uh, we already discussed is to go K steps, step one, two, three, four, five. Then, for example, if you, if you want to go to the uh, K number 16, we need 16 steps. But uh, what about skipping some steps to go to a specific one? Let me give you an example. If we want to go to K number 19, we can skip, we can move to K number 16, then 2, then 1, and this is the binary representation of 19, which is 4 power 2 plus 2, uh, it's, it's 2 power 4, sorry. This one is 2 power 4, this one is 2 power 1, and this one is 2 power 0. So the binary representation of 19, 19 will be 0, uh, not 0, will be 1, 1, 0, uh, 0, 1. Okay? So the idea here, when we take K, we check its binary representation, and instead of going 19 steps, I will first go 16 steps, then 2 steps, then 1 step, and I will get the result from just 3 moves instead of 19. Okay? So I hope that the idea is clear. Now the question is, how can we guarantee that we can go to uh, any node that we want. The idea is very simple. So for each node, we need to know its direct ancestor, which is its parent. Then we need to know when we skip one parent, so uh, k number k equal to, then we move to four, then we move to eight. And if you want to go to, for example, 7, you just move 7 is 4 plus 2 plus 1. So you go to this one with k number 4, and from this node, we go with k number k equal 2 as it's already uh, calculated. So we go, we go with two steps. Then from this node, we go with, with, with just one step and we, we get the result. Given this tree, how we can calculate all these values? So we start from top to bottom. This is my node number 1, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I will start by calculating the up. Let's, let's uh, first define what is up. Up of node. Uh, e or uh, K is the ancestor number 2 power K of our node. So we start by the first one, then the, the up of uh, 1 I have just one ancestor, 1, 0, which is 2 power 0, 1, we mean the first or the direct parent is 0. Then we want to calculate up of 2, the direct one will be the direct parent which is 1. And then if we want to calculate, so this one is already calculated but because it's our it's direct parent, then if you want to calculate the ancestor uh, uh, number 2, so up of 0, 1, 1 mean 2, my, 2 power 2, so 2 power 1, so it's 2, uh, then it will be up, we go to the, its parent, so up of 2 of 0, so now we are here, and we get the ancestor of this one. 
so uh, zero okay so let me explain if we want to go to uh, if you want to calculate up of node 8 or 3 3 will be 2 power 3 which is 8 so I go to the LCA or the ancestor number 4 and from this one I go for it for again okay so the, the formula will be up of n k I go to this one using up n k minus 1 okay k minus 1 to go to the fourth one and from this one I go the same number of steps as 1 2 4 8 16 32 are all odd uh, even so we can divide them by 2 this one I will apply on it the same step which is is the half of the distance okay so that's the idea I will move to the code I will show you my code and I will uh, give you the link of my github to check for more details so uh, at first I, I should clear I, I, uh, I declared my app vector so it's vector or vector it's two dimension array uh, then I want to know the depth because as I say if I if my depth is 4 and he asked me to get k equal 5 there is no fifth ancestor as I'm in the depth number 4 or equal 4 uh, to keep the depth of each node and then my graph I want to transform this tree to a graph to keep the order as I say as I said to calculate 3 I need to calculate its parents because there is a preprocessing that use its ancestor so I can't calculate 3 before 0 that's why I use DFS to keep my order and uh, get uh, significant uh, cal pre-calculation so uh, I feel my graph it's simple to see uh, so the, my maximum is uh, logarithmic uh, base 2 of n because uh, if I want to move to if I want to move for example 16 steps uh, my, my biggest number is 2 power 4 which uh, which is 4 so log base 2 of 2 power 4 is uh, 4 so I need to calculate up of each node and uh, the maximum value here will be 4 because my worst case is a linear graph and the last one will be with index or will depth um, 16 so uh, the worst case is that he will ask me k equals 16 which is uh, 4 which is 2 power 4 so the dimension of my app will be number of nodes and the logarithmic base 2 of uh, the number of nodes okay so um, parent of the first one is 0 to avoid getting minus 1 here and the depth will be 0 and finally DFS so I will start my DFS parent the, the, the direct ancestor it's uh, um, the direct parent uh, the depth of any, any node it's uh, the depth of its parent plus one and up uh, p uh, g is the up of uh, the up p g minus one g minus n that we already discussed and this is a, direct, a very simple dfs so uh, to get the kth ancestor I get my, my, my k, I get its binary representation, so 19, for example, will be 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then I need to move by uh, 2 power 4, 2 power 1, 2 power 0, so I start by moving 16 steps, so it's up my node 4, then when I point in my new node, I will do up n1, which is this index, and then up 
and zero and I solve the, the calculation in just two steps so how to know activated uh, bytes here it's simple each time we do and with the um, with new mask with only this byte activated so here the result will be zero 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 one it's different from zero so that means that this byte is active in k and then uh, for example if we we put one here and zero in k the result will be zero because uh, one and zero is zero so the result is zero and we know that this byte is not activated and that's it so uh, if, the, if the depth is uh, uh, not equal to, is uh, strictly uh, lesser than k we return minus one and then we just uh, check byte by byte if the byte is activated we move um, with this step i hope you enjoy my first video sorry for my bad english but i'm trying to improve and practice more uh, see you in next video to check how to find lca with the spot problem